The Remember Olawali charity is, is set up to, as it says on the tin, um, remember David's story, and that is a profound story in itself. But it's, it's designed as a, as a vehicle for helping Leeds reconcile itself to its difficult past, as, as expressed in David's story, and help Leeds move forward. So one of the things that the Remember Olawali charity takes a great deal of care in, in doing is linking artistic practice to the telling of this story. So we use the, the, the visual arts and the performing arts in all their forms as a way of uplifting us and reminding us of the creativity and the pure pleasure that the arts can produce. And that's one of the reasons why we're so glad that the Tetley is bringing in fine art because there isn't as yet a great deal of fine art. Rashid Arine's probably the most prominent of a very small number of fine artists who have responded to David's story. Rashid comes as an artist and to make his career as an artist and, and is a successful artist in, by the time of reading of David Olawali's death in 1971. And Rashid is on the record as saying that this, this death completely changed his art practice and completely moved his politics on. So the artwork is a fascinating effort to both create a piece of art in the kind of art language tra tradition. So in, in many ways it, it's a bit of a surprise to people who are used to looking at painting or looking even at abstract painting. This is, this is really a textual piece. So it takes a bit of interpretation and, and the vitrines that the Tetley has so beautifully put together really do help us see that, that what's happened here in the artwork is a, is a political response to David's death and then a response from a member of the angry North London community who, who feel that this sh should not even be displayed. So you have this letter in the middle of the artwork expressing the indignation that Rashid has produced this work in the first place. So it's very reflective of the times in which it was produced, very reflective of British society. And when looked at alongside the vitrines, you get a full idea of just how seriously Leeds Press and the national media took the trial of the two officers at the heart of the, of the hounding of David to his death. So it's a very vivid re-remembering, if you like, memorialising of David and bringing it right up to date so that there's the uh, reference to the events that we've organised in the coming month in April to remind people that it's exactly now, on the 18th of April, it'll be exactly 50 years since David Olawali was uh, hounded into the river. And for the Tetley to hold this exhibition, it's a great way of, of, of engaging people and helping them think about these issues and hopefully contribute to making this great city even greater.